Start with Wingstop, the restaurant chain stock, taking a mid-March dip when the market hit rock bottom. Since then, it's almost tripled. Kate Rogers covers that company. It's a simple business model and menu for Wingstop, which relies heavily on carryout and delivery with its 1,400 locations in eight countries. The company works with delivery aggregators like DoorDash and Uber Eats. Wingstop, which is heavily franchised, saw its same store sales climb by 32 percent this past quarter when restaurant names have had declines in the same range and saw its digital sales increase to 64 percent of sales. The company is opening new locations and has seen momentum remain even as dining rooms begin to reopen in certain areas of the country. Analysts say this is a stock that is positioned for the long haul. Cowan says its digital offerings really work well in both a faster and slower reopening narrative. Frank, Josh, back over to you. All right, thanks a lot, Kate. I have a question about Wingstop. Why don't we order some? I'm a little hungry right now, but our viewers, they also have a question about Wingstop. I got into Wingstop pretty early, and I used my gains to pay off some of my student loans when I sold it around 100. Since it bottomed out in March, I've watched this stock go on an incredible run as a stay-at-home play. Even all the way up here, do you think it's worth ever getting back into? And if so, how much more room do you think it has to run? Interesting stuff there. Josh, is Wingstop a stay-at-home play? So for me, these are the hardest stocks. Oh, it's an, it's an everything play. This company's going to win no matter what. They are perfectly positioned with the right food at the right time. And similar to a lot of the winners that we talked about at the top of the show, this was one of those companies that was already winning. And in, in large part, the pandemic plays right into their hands. 40% of their sales were digital before all of this happened. So now you got to bet it's much higher. And that's great for a chain like this. So they are... I think 1,300 stores, management is talking about an opportunity to grow to 6,000. There is a ton of room for this company. But again, look at the way it's already trading. They're 22 times sales. The, even the fastest growing fast food concepts on Wall Street are four times, six times. They're acting like this thing is the cure. Wings are not the cure for COVID. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to tell I Wings try, are really spicy. I've been doing some experiments. Believe me. Wing, wings will not cure any of the... So it is stay at home, yes. But this is really just about the awakening of a brand new concept that people absolutely love. If you look at a comp like a Chick-fil-A doing like 1.8 million in sales uh, a month in their stores, Wingstop is like 1 million. They have room not just to grow stores, but to grow revenue at each location. So... Wall Street loves stocks like these. If they continue to execute, I would never tell you don't be in it. So this is my answer to that question. Position sizing is the answer here. Not buy or sell. If you're determined to be invested, just understand that the first purchase you make is at an all-time high, and you might have other opportunities along the way should they disappoint at some, at some level, and then you can add more to it. You don't have to put on a full position here. Here's your worst-case scenario, your nightmare. This thing goes to 400 over the next five years, and you only had a small position. You could live with that. You could live with that. That's not as bad as putting on the full amount you want to buy and then seeing this stock trade back even to the, the April and May levels, substantially below where it is today. So think about position sizing in your first purchase, and it's okay if you end up buying more later. All right, Wings, not the cure for COVID-19. We've established that now.